All right, um, I'm gonna have to start that over because I just recorded it, but it didn't record my voice. I don't know why I'm even including that, but I'm gonna show you how to make a curved tile mesh like this one. Um, I made this tutorial because I saw a tutorial on how to uh, align the snapping grid, but I couldn't figure out how to make it work with tile meshes. Um, and I found out that you can't uh, you can't align the grid if it's a tile mesh because it, it actually snaps to vertices in the in the mesh itself rather than like the the planes, the simple geometry of the planes. So I'll make a new empty box and I will make a little block the grid to 32. Um, and then we will create tile meshes from this. So the first thing I want to do is just get rid of these faces. Um, one more. So now we've got this mesh. We know what it's going to look like if I just throw on a Wayne Scott. You can use this to make basically like very uh, complex um, architecture with the with the stuff that I already provide. So um, firstly, you have to disable the uh, the mesh. Oops. So I'll just delete the tile set from here. Um, because again, if you if you try to if you try to do this when there's a tile mesh, it'll just snap to the geometry of the of the tile itself rather than like the the plane. So once you do that, you grab the corner. I have it set to 15 because I think that's going to create like a realistic curve. Um, anything tighter is going to be too abrupt and anything looser is going to be too is going to make it too wide of a of a curve so anyways you 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 take this tool the pick work plan tool press shift q or shortcut you grab the corner rotate it you have to make sure to uh it doesn't seem to be snapping why is it not snapping Oh, well, this is a disaster. Okay, we got it back. Bear with me, I'm very confused because... All right, there we go. Okay, so now it's snapping. You uh, move it uh, 15 degrees, hit enter to apply the new plane, then shift and extrude this like you would any other tile mesh. The only bummer to this way is that you won't get to see the results until the end, but it doesn't take very long, so it's not a big deal. I do wish that I could just do this with the tile mesh enabled, so if anyone knows how to make this tool respond to just the just the, the mesh itself and not the tiles, let me know. I'm probably like butchering a lot of uh, terminology, but like I'm not an expert. I'm just I'm just trying to show you something that I figured out. So yeah, you can do this fairly automatically once you've done it a couple times because you just do the same thing. You click here, click here, rotate this, go back. The edge will still be selected. Extrude it. I think one more and it'll be done. And just for fun, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna go the other way. Doot. Now keep in mind I as far as like best practices are concerned, I don't know if this is gonna create a million endgons. I just think it looks cool. Um, 
but I think it should be fine as long as you as long as you keep this wall as a separate object and don't merge it with the floor. Um, it shouldn't create any end guns. So almost done. Da, da, da. And sorry, this is not gonna get edited. I'm just making this little video. I don't feel like doing anything too involved. Um, keep hitting rotate when I just should do it like this. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, that's, yeah, I wanna complete the wall. Bear with me, I'm a little slow today. So I do that, grab this, corner, do that. Okay, we're back to flat. So now we've got this long curve. Um, and we can grab the mesh and set it to Wayne Scott once again. Now you get this cool curve wall. See if I can change the uh, style. I thought, see, I thought that you could change like the texture of these. Am I wrong? Um, oh, material set, wood. Okay, so we're gonna have these all be wood. And now, uh, also just gonna make full bright so that we can actually see what we're doing. Reset the grid using this button and now what we can do is uh, grab this top edge and extrude that and you don't have to worry about the grid anymore because now we've uh, you know we're just we're just extruding it up so that's gonna work no matter what so like you could see how you could make a pretty interesting looking environment using this, you know. If you uh, wanted to make these into some crazy looking bookshelves, you could grab that, grab the face and extrude it backwards. Stuff like that, you know. Um, or actually, you know what would be kind of cool is if you hold this and made it into like a pillar. In fact, if I had done smaller steps, I could have had like this nice, Let's see if I can cheat that. Let's see, if I, uh... sorry about the fucking, I think I'll have to clear the tile set again, but I think I can do this. I think if I, uh... I think if I slice this, yes, I know there's a shortcut to do this fast, but my brain is can only store so much info. So now if I grab these and align the plane with them, I could probably extrude this and make a cool little pillar of some kind. I would probably do this again with that in mind, but that's just another way that you could turn this into something even more intricate and interesting. Yeah, see, so look at that. Now you've got this little extrusion of a, of a pillar, very regal. You add some windows or bookshelves, you could have something kind of interesting here. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. I'm always trying to find new ways to to do things in Source. Uh, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Um, I think a very small amount of people are going to watch this video, but that's okay. Look at this. We can add some more details if we bridge these gaps. Um, that's it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.